stars of Hollywood gather once again for the Manual Operator Skills Awards. Yes, it's carry out manual handling tasks. Welcome to Carry Out Manual Handling Tasks. I'm Errol Bogart. And I'm Vivian de Havilland. We'll be your host for what promises to be a star-studded and glamorously informative evening. <laughs> That's right, Vivian. Tonight we are going to examine one of the most important aspects of manual operator skills and identify some of the hazards and risks associated with manual handling tasks. We'll also identify some important procedures to minimize the risks associated with manual handling, Errol, so that we don't end on a cliffhanger. <laughs> Jeez Louise, who wrote this? But first, what exactly is a manual handling task? The nominees for manual handling include... Lifting, lowering, pushing, pulling, carrying or moving any load. Holding or restraining any load. Repetitive movements. Sustained work postures. And exposure to vibration. And who performs manual tasks? Everyone! Yes, everyone performs some manual handling tasks as part of their work, with the potential for injury to any part of the body. Yes, hazardous activities can potentially cause injuries, such as sprains and strains to muscles, ligaments and tendons, damage to the spinal discs, nerve damage, bone injuries, lower back disorders, muscular and vascular disorders, and soft tissue hernias. I am so honored to accept this award on behalf of all the people out there performing manual tasks, exposing themselves to risk on a daily basis, so that people like me can sparkle in the firmament of superstardom. Uh, you perform manual tasks too, Vivian. No, Errol. I have a personal assistant that does those icky things for me. Get out of here! Shoo! But what are some of the causes of injury, Errol? Well, Vivian, injury from manual tasks can occur suddenly as a result of using excessive force or over time from an accumulation of many minor injuries. The circumstances that increase the risk of injury include bending, twisting, repeating the same task or action frequently. Hey, haven't we had that one already? It was a nominee for a manual handling task, Vivian, but it's also a prime cause of manual handling injury. Yeah, well, I don't like repeating myself. I only do one take, otherwise I'd go crazy. You're interrupting the flow. We've got to keep this ceremony ticking along. One take, Mr. DeMille. Also increasing the risk of work injury is working overhead. Other awkward postures, such as working in a restricted space. Working for long periods without changing postures or resting. We've had that one too. If you're going to keep interrupting, we're going to be standing here with these envelopes all night. Handling heavy loads. Working in cold, windy or hot, humid environments. Exposure to vibration. I'd like to shake some sense into my agent. I get a war, Larry. I don't give them. Work organization factors such as staffing levels, frequent breakdowns and bottlenecks, machine pacing, low control over the work, and work duration that results in fatigue. And the nominees for methods for managing manual handling risks are identifying hazardous tasks, such as tasks that cause pain or are difficult to do, often requiring more than one person, the tasks employees like the least. Assessing the nature of the risk by forming a team to look at the skills and experience of employees, tools used, clothing worn, the layout of work area and the environment. Eliminating the risky aspects of the tasks, such as adverse forces and adverse actions. Controlling the risk by changing the layout of the workplace, the packaging, introducing heavy load handling equipment, altering staff rotation and using appropriate PPE. That's PPE personal protective equipment. 
Well, why doesn't the tail from the stay there? <laughs> and the award for the method for managing a manual handling risk goes to... Identifying, assessing, eliminating, and controlling risky tasks. You're all winners. Congratulations to identifying risk, assessing risk, eliminating risk, and controlling risk for being the means by which we can manage a manual handling risk. Where are they? Ain't the four risky task brothers coming up here to accept their award? Well, no, Vivian. They're not people. They're abstract concepts. Oh, I thought they were like the Baldwins or something. <laughs> well, that's all from us this evening. Remember, when it comes to manual handling tasks, don't worry about tomorrow. Worry about it today. Good night, everyone.